Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a how to get fit for spring break and a lot of you have finished or um, are on spring break or are just going to start next week or maybe in two weeks, three weeks, whatever. I'm going to start my next week which I'm pumped up because after Easter I get a whole week off and that's just like, uh -oh. So this is a at home fitness routine that I've been doing for the past this week just to get you know a little bit of mm, that weight off for spring break i have five exercises for you guys i have exercises for your legs to tone them up a little bit your buttocks and your core so um yeah with that being said let's get started with the video so the first exercise set is called calf raises you basically just go on your tippy toes and I'm doing this 20 times just to help strengthen my calves and it just makes your calves look a lot stronger and tightened up and it's really good for you, especially your calves. The next set is just pull-ups to help straighten your core and your abdominal section so I'm just doing 20 of these and you'll be good to go for spring break. So the next set, you basically just lift your legs up, and then, I don't know how to explain my motion, just follow it. <laughs> so the next set is called Mountain Climbers. What you basically do is go in your downward dog position, and then you basically jump and then switch your legs every time you jump. And this is really good to, like, tighten your butt, so, yeah. <laughs> I didn't have much time to explain, so just read the information that has been displayed for you guys. Mm -hmm. Ow, you psycho! So that is the exercises that I think that if you use those and also eat healthy, that you will lose weight within a week. So just try really hard. Um, if you guys want me to do another video like this, then just comment down below or like this video. And I'm just going to show you one smoothie that you can drink after you exercise that is really low on calories and fills you up right away so let's get started Ooh, nutella no i can't fall for it um, maybe just one no i can't do it what you're going to need is some milk and some strawberries and then some frozen apples you can definitely put in cups of ice if you want but i froze my apples just because i don't have an ice dispenser then you're going to pour some milk into your cup because it will help your strawberries and apples um blend smoothly and then you're going to cut up some strawberries into little tiny circles so it can blend easy obviously and i'm gonna pour those into my cup obviously and then once all my strawberries are in there, I'm going to add half of the bag of apples that I had. So you're just going to add half of the apples into your smoothie. The reason I do this is because I make these smoothies every day for morning because sometimes I want to go on a jog and you never know, you know, like, yeah. So I'm just going to add half of that into my smoothie. And then this is based on personal preference, but I like to put in some yogurt just to get some protein in. So I'm using this yummy vanilla yogurt this has 22 grams of protein because protein is so important so i'm adding four tablespoons which equals a whole cup oh yeah i'm doing math obviously i'm gonna lick it Duh. then i'm gonna screw the cap on and then i'm gonna make sure it's all tight and you know compact and nothing comes out of the cup when it starts to blend <sighs> Yeah, I'll be right back. So it is done blending, and the color is a soft pink color. And let me tell you guys, no smoothie is complete without a cute straw, which I'm going to put in, obviously, and I'm going to drink away. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you liked my strawberry apple recipe, then comment down below. And... I'm going to, like, drink 15 of these today. I will talk to you guys soon. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And peace.